Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video, and today's video is going to be a little bit different. I have a nice little surprise. Bam! This right here is my brand new gaming PC that I custom ordered from Ironside PCs. Now, if you don't know what Ironside is, it's a very nice um, custom gaming computer company, and here are the reasons that I decided to order one. My current gaming rig is about four years old now, and, you know, it still runs really well, but it doesn't run the best games the best. You know, for example, like... When I play Cold War Zombies, it only gets, you know, like 30 FPS nowadays. And it used to, you know, really crank out like 140, 150 FPS back in the day. The second reason that I decided to go with a new computer is because I currently have a 1070 and I want one of them spicy new, beautiful 30 series cards. Now they're impossible to get. And the reason that I decided to get with a pre-built um, computer is because that is basically the only way that you can actually get a 30 series card right now. If you look on Amazon or anywhere really, you'll see that these 30 series cards are either sold out or they are obnoxiously priced like out of the world and you would never want to pay that much for a graphics card. The third reason that I decided to go with a new computer is because my old one is not only old, but I do a ton of work and since it's falling behind in the gaming category and a little bit in the working category, we just decided to pull the trigger and get a new one. Now let me preface this entire video by saying that this computer right here is all paid for with my own money that I work for and it has nothing to do with the channel money at all because obviously I am not monetized yet. But no worries, we are slowly climbing in subscribers and soon one day I will be a giant cool YouTuber. Well, not giant or cool, but I might be a YouTuber if that's possible. Maybe giant, maybe a little, maybe a million subs, who knows? Who knows what's going to happen? I, I can actually look back at this. Hey, hey, future me, in four years, if you see this and I'm talking to you, I have no idea what's going to be going on then. But hopefully you have made it to, you know, that big goal of a million subs one day. Now, with that being said, enough of that stupid wishy-washy talk. Let's just get right into it and unbox this thing. Well, guys, I'm super excited for what's in this box. It was a little expensive. Um, ran me about $1,700. But inside this build right here, we have a 3070, um, the brand new RTX 3070 series cards. We have a Ryzen 7 3700X processor. We have um, 20 gigs of RAM overall, and I know that's a little bit of a weird number, but the reason is I only ordered four gigs of RAM with this build, and I have 16 gigs of RAM that I already bought ahead of time that I'm going to put into this computer. On top of this, we have three Samsung Evo drives in here. They're all 500 gigs, so I have a one and a half terabytes of solid state space. I decided not to go with an M.2 drive. I already have these three solid state drives on hand already, just like I did with the RAM. So I decided to just um, order no storage at all and just swap in my own storage with this build. So for the CPU cooler, I went with an AIO and it, I believe it's RGB. Um, I don't really remember because I ordered this over a month and a half ago. And you know how the holidays are, super busy, all the orders were backed up. but. Basically, I have an AIO and, you know, it's hopefully RGB and the most exciting part and the most aesthetically pleasing part of this entire computer is that all my cables are going to be sleeved in white. And that is just something that I've always wanted. So I went ahead and splurged on that part a little bit, but enough of the talking. Let's just go ahead and start unboxing this. All right, let's open it up. I'm so excited. So let's just get right into it. Let's crack this open. And, they, and one thing that I'm a little bit nervous is about, uh, or that was, that was a litter, no. The, the one thing I'm a little nervous about is this was delivered with FedEx, and if you know anything about FedEx, they like the, <laughs> you launch your packages, so. Um, pretty expensive thing to be launching. I really hope they didn't do that. So, yeah, let's see how it is. Let's go ahead and open this up. Ooh, okay. I've literally never unboxed a PC before, so here we go. Looks like some little instructions here, and yeah, forget about that, but it looks like they did a really good job of the packaging here. So let's do this. I wonder what's inside of here. I don't, I don't know. Let's, let's open it up here and see what we got. Okay, so you see this right here. We got um, a nice little getting started guide here um, from Ironside and they got the nice little symbol on the back here of the box and it looks like we have a free mouse pad called the Anvil that seems pretty cool so I'm super excited about that let's uh, leave that off to the side for now um, we get 
you know, some cables here. We got, um, looks like a power, yep, the power cable for the PC. And a nice little iron side sticker for, um, just to, you know, represent best company ever, right? <laughs> yeah, and then here we got all of our extra stuff, like our SATA cables, you know, extra power cables and such in here. And we have, looks, ooh. Okay, that is not fun. Um, looks like they left the bag open. That's nice, but um, yeah, it just looks like some extra mounts for CPU. This must have came with the motherboard, but that's nice that they decided to you know package it all up and put it in a separate box for me. So I like that a lot. And it looks like we just have a nice little instruction manual or something um, for you know the motherboard and other things. So yeah, now let's go ahead put this all back and move this to the side here. Okay, let's move this crap down here. It's not crap, but you know what I mean. Um, let's do that. So this, and yeah. Okay. So, oh, my favorite part, a nice little baggie. There's, why even, I don't need this. <sighs> bag is for life. But, <laughs> uh, enough of my shitty jokes. So, yep, let's put that to the side here. And it looks like we have a box inside of another box. So, um, yeah, it just looks like they did a nice job of packaging it. Um, I went with the uh, NZXT H510 case here, and you'll see the label right here. Um, so I'm excited for that case. It's a nice modular clay case, and it's all white, and just looks pretty cool. So let's go ahead and tilt this on the side here, and just slowly slide out my beautiful piece of machinery that was really expensive and on my wallet, and I hope it's not broken because I would start crying. But I can't even get this out. So that's nice. FedEx and their nice reputation. So, as I was saying before, I went with the NZXT H510 here as for the case. Um, and you can kind of see it already through the box. I'm super excited. This is awesome. So, yeah, I'll just uh, give it a nice little turn around the box here. Um, yeah, let's open it up so we can see how beautiful this thing is. And do that. Do this. And for you guys wondering um, why I skipped out on some parts, and you know, if I'm going to spend all this money, I might as well just, you know, get it all pre built and set up for me. But that's something that I don't mind, and I'm trying to do bang for your buck, you know, the most you can for the money. And of course, this is super expensive, but at least I got a 30 series card and a Ryzen 7 series processor. So I'm super excited about that. Oh, looks like the tape here is stuck to the plastic, but here we go. Guys, I did it. I did it. I'm got it. It's it's open. Look at this thing. Ooh. Okay. So they did even. They took it a step further and put this foam in here. And I forgot to mention that I actually ordered some RGB light strips around the inside. And you'll see. You can't see it right now, but right in here they have it already. So let's continue and keep unboxing here. So let's throw this to side and take this off oh i'm so excited okay <laughs> and here we go what? all right guys i'm going to take you on a nice little tour so we have the top of our case and let's swipe this off um yeah beautiful super sleek case it's super simple too we have a nice little iron side and an nzxt sticker down here um nothing interesting on that end we have the back here cool um do not plug monitor in here. Use graphics card below, of course. 
sure we can go ahead and peel this thing off can't peel today okay um there we go and you know really standard back here but the thing i'm excited for and i have not unboxed this part yet but you'll see right in there we got a nice light strip so that is going to be sweet hey guys um before i unbox this i maybe maybe you should read this instructions but ah, we got this so Holy crap, guys, look at this. I've never had such nice cable management in my life. So we got the beautiful Corsair, nice little, uh, I think it's RGB, and I keep saying that. I don't I don't really know. Um, RGB AIO here. We got the white sleeve cables, like I mentioned earlier. We have the beautiful giant Thickums 3070 card, and we, ah, oh, that is so nice right here. This, this nice little, like, I don't even know what you call it. It's just like a, a ridge. It just makes it look like freaking expensive. And yeah, I mean, they did a really, really, really good job here. This Corsair is so snug and, and nicely tucked in. We've got this nice light strip here. And I, I believe that's the only light strip. Yeah. So there are the internals. Let's fire this thing up. So here is my current setup. Um, I just wanted to show you guys before and after I swap out the machine. And uh, don't give me any shit about that Christmas tree right there. It is still Christmas, even though it's almost February. So I don't really want to hear anything. Anyways, yeah, we just got our nice two little monitors here. Nice headset. Water bottle. Got a webcam in the plant because that's the nice height for it. Um, and yeah, here's my current desktop. You'll see it's it's actually pretty nice, but... The cable management is horrendous in there. And on top of that, there's a ton of cat hair for my cats in the case. And even worse, I have a plant on top of it and a brand new Apple HomePod Mini just being unused. And uh, yeah, you can see here, <sighs> cables are off the charts. And it's just going to be really nice to get rid of this thing and swap in the new one. So here we go. So here we go. We are ready to finally fire it up. And one more thing. They actually threw in this nice little uh, RGB controller with the little nice Ironside logo on it. That's pretty cool, right? Um, so finally, the moment we've been waiting for, let's go ahead and fire it up. Oh, man. Oh, my God. This thing is so nice. All right, guys. Here's your aesthetically pleasing shot of the day. Guys, I'm testing out all the light modes on this, and it's crazy. We got, it, it's super fast with the remote and, you know, all these different colors here. We can just change it to whatever we want, when we want. And then we got this nice auto mode right here, where it just cycles colors endlessly. Or we can go ahead and turn down, or turn up and down the softness, like how fast it goes and the speed, and turn the mode switch up the modes too so we got this one we got this one that's really cool got this one as well which kind of looks the same Ooh, that's really neat look it stacks up the lights that's super cool and yeah there's just all kinds of different things here to uh mess around with and that's gonna wrap up the video um as you see we have a beautiful new computer um thank you guys so much for watching up to this point um thank you for all this amazing support on the channel lately we're almost to 200 subscribers and hopefully that we get there 
and we continue on and keep going to 250 and so on. Now, if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up and drop a comment down below for any thoughts or suggestions for the next video. And uh, if you like the content like this, please subscribe to my channel. Um, we're growing pretty fast and I'm very excited with the results. So thank you guys for everything you've given me. And uh, with that being said, once again, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.